Bloof the Poof. Bloof the Poof was a small round white puff of fur. He had black shoe button eyes and a tiny black nose. He was soft and cuddly, and despite his small size, he had the biggest heart for miles around. There was only one problem with Bloof. He had no idea what he was. All of his friends knew what they were. Cassie was a kitten. Yip Yap was a puppy. And Carrots was a bunny. Of course, there were plenty of other kittens and puppies and bunnies in the world, but as far as Bloof knew, there was only one creature that looked like him, and that was Bloof himself. You're so lucky you know what you are, Bloof told Cassie one day. Cassie licked her paws and looked thoughtfully at Bloof. Well, you've got to be some kind of an animal, she decided. Maybe you're a kitten, just like me, only a different looking sort of kitten. I don't think so, said Bloof. I can't purr. I don't like to play with yarn. And just the thought of fish is enough to give me a tummy ache. Cassie sighed. You're probably right, she said. I've never met a kitten like that. The next day, as Bloof was playing with Yip Yap, he told the puppy, You're so lucky you know what you are. Yip Yap stretched out the arm on the, his arm on the grass to rest. Well, you've got to be some kind of an animal, he decided. Maybe you're a puppy, just like me, only a different looking sort of puppy. I don't think so, said Bloof. I can't bark. I don't have to, a tail to chase, and chewing on bones would break my teeth. Yip Yap sighed. You're probably right, he said. I've never met a puppy like that. The day after that, Bloof took a walk through the garden with carrots. He told the bunny, you're so lucky you know what you are. Carrots perked up her long ears. Well, you've got to be some kind of an animal, she decided. Maybe you're a bunny just like me, only a different looking sort of bunny. I don't think so, said Bloof. I can't wiggle my nose. I don't have a fluffy cottontail, and I'm not a big fan of garden vegetables. Carrot sighed. You're probably right, she said. I've never met a bunny like that. Discouraged, Bloof decided to visit Grandfather Owl. The wise old bird lived in an ancient oak tree and seemed to know everything about everyone. Grandfather Owl, Bloof asked, do you have any idea what I am? To his surprise, Grandfather Owl smiled and said, why you're Poof Bloof. A Poof Bloof repeated confused, Sure, a fluffy ball of fur like yourself is called a poof, Grandfather Owl said proudly. Bloof began to smile. He couldn't believe that he finally knew what he was. Thank you, Grandfather Owl, he cried, and he bounced off toward home calling to his friends. Hey, Cassie, Yip Yap, Carrots, guess what? I'm Bloof the Poof, one of a kind. Moral of the story, we are all unique in our own kind of way. Be proud of who you are because you are one of a kind. The end.